And by the way, has anybody seen Paulo Dybala in the second half? I haven't. Yeah. Missing person's report has to be filed in, bro. We're getting worried. Episode 7 of the AS Roma career mode. Welcome and we have some work to do. We have attackers on the short list and I made it clear in the last video that you guys are going to be making the signing. We went through the comments and I saw a lot of great suggestions. We had like a 20 man short list. We've cut it down basically in half and these are the players that are left. We've added a few more. We've removed a lot and I am liking it. We got engaged in the comments. We're discussing it and yeah, the video has been up for about 11 hours or so. And if your comments have come in after that, Obviously, I have not seen them yet and I cannot have those players on the shortlist, but we will definitely look into that. I got a suggestion for Domenico Berardi. I like it. I really like it. His valuation is very high, so he's going to be a very expensive signing. But I am thinking this may not really be realistic. And no, it's not because he plays for Sassuolo. Sassuolo, obviously, you would come to Roma. We're in Europe. They are struggling. They're actually fighting relegation. But that's why I don't think it would be realistic. I don't think it would be realistic for Sassuolo to basically sell their two best players because we just signed Fratesi while they are in a relegation battle. You can see the table. We're about a third of the way into the season and they have less points than games played, only two points from relegation. And it wouldn't make sense for them to sell, like I said, the two best players, especially in January. So uh, if we are to make the Baradi signing, maybe at the beginning of next season we'll look into that but i don't think it makes sense for them to sell him now but these are the other places we've added. also added like likes of kudus and kamada in there found them so i was like okay maybe just add them in there and then we'll see what what we can do i personally like zx so that's why he's still there so it's kind of like my little choice there but let me know we will definitely be signing one of these players because, yeah, we've shortened down the short list, like I said. So, yeah, stay engaged in the comments and we'll make the signing happen. Now, let's get into today's business. We have Inter coming up first. We're going away to San Siro yet again. And Inter are currently top of Serie A. We're in fifth position, four points behind them. And we're now 10 games into the season. I can't really say it's early because this is where you see the table start to take shape. You're going to have an idea of what kind of season you're going to be having and we are where i kind of expected us to be bro just outside top four or just around top four because that's what we're going to be fighting for but we're also not too far from the top where if we can maybe get an opportunity to go top we will definitely take and we have an opportunity to face the team that are top right now so let's see how we match up against them it's going to be a difficult game we're going back to san siro we went there in the last episode against milan and yeah, we robbed them, bro. We robbed them. One penalty was the difference and we took the three points. Now that's behind us, yeah? All they'll remember is the result. So let's do the same today. I don't care, bro. I don't care. We just need to get out of there with a positive result. And I will definitely, definitely take that. If you're going to enjoy the video, please drop a like on it and consider subscribing. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Marcel taking the press conference today. Oh, mate. Oh, uh, mate, oh, uh, mate, the pressure is on. Yeah, the pressure is on. The big games are piling up and we have a very tough run, I realized. Because we have Milan, we have Verona, we have Inter, we have Atalanta. All in the space of like five games. That's very difficult, bro. That's very, very difficult. Tammy asking to play. Bro, I'm going to have to be honest, bro. It's a team game. It's a team game and you have not been performing for the team. Velotti has been better. He has been better. There's not much in it, to be honest. But Belotti has been better and I will be preparing Andrea Belotti here today. You saw Marcel take the press conference there, loading up the boys, saying we are ready for the occasion, bro. I'm confident. I mean, you can't blame me for being confident. We've had a very good start to the season. We've only lost one game so far. I think it was to Fiorentina, away in Florence. Now we're away in Milan yet again. And in my opinion, Inter, on paper, have the best team in Serie A, bro. They just do. They have, like, world-class defenders, world-class midfielders. I don't know if Lukaku could be classified as world-class, but he is definitely effective enough to put out world-class output. So, it's going to be difficult, bro. And I'm worried about him. 
I'm worried about him. I actually checked the player stats before this game. He is the top goal scorer. And so, yeah. Yeah, we thought Dybala had a good season, bro. This guy's the top goal scorer. And let's be honest, our defenders are not the most physical. I mean, I guess maybe Ibanez and Mancini, you could say, are physical. But none of them are quick. None of them are going to be able to match him for pace. So let's not have him running in behind and pinning you back and dominating us physically. Let's not allow that to happen. We're going to have to be smart. We're going to have to try to keep him quiet for as long as possible. And we just faced the current champions. Milan, now we're facing the previous champions, Inter. So yeah, boys, we're testing ourselves against the big boys. <laughs> this is the lineup. I'm sure you know exactly how we play by now. This is the team. This is the team, the exact same bench, the exact same 11. And we've been getting results. So why change it? Why change it? It's not like we really have many options to change either way. But yes, we kick off at San Siro. It's Smalling to Vigna. Can I keep the ball there? That's good defending from Smalling. Front foot defending. Making him know you are there, bro. First minute. Put him down. Cleanly, but put him down. Just impose yourself a bit. Pellegrini. Ball behind there. This is the problem. Ball's in behind, bro. Katarian and Smalling is there. And the ref points to the spot. In the opening five minutes. He's given a penalty. Kind of saved by VAR there, bro. But let's be honest, it hit his leg and then his arm, so it's definitely not a pen. Close range as well to the guy crossing, so a bit of a nervy start. Let's let that wake us up. Let's go play from Wijnaldum. Tried to find the ball in behind, he could not. Is Balotti looking to put pressure on there, but it's a foul. There's Martinez. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is the problem, bro, with Lukaku. Just running through our defense. Once he starts running, bro, it's difficult for our defenders to turn and recover. We have pointed out the lack of pace and agility in our center backs. We really need Roger Ibanez because he is probably the quickest center back we have to be all over Lukaku, bro. Forced to go back here. 25 minutes in. Rui Patricio goes long. We will keep that in. Yes, Pinatola. Good play. On the turn is Wijnaldum. Does not have the space to find a pass. It's Gorsens. In the middle to Martinez. Atar Martinez to Chalanoglu. And we will keep that in. It's cleared by Roger Banez. Not the most convincing clearance, but we win that header. It's Brian Cristante. Finds the ball there. To Belotti. Belotti to Dybala. Dybala, Dybala is tackled. We win it back, he's smalling. 30 minutes, we have not done anything meaningful, but we may do right here. Here is Paulo Dybala again, it's Skriniar again. Skriniar, bloody hell, this is going to be difficult, bro. Pellegrini, oh mate, they are so physical, bro. We're being tackled by Lukaku and the man. They're so physical. Oh, Smalling trying to slide in there. Not good enough. Here's Lukaku in the box trying to find some space. And that's a good tackle. We concede a corner, but Brian Cristante they're reading the danger there and saving us a bit. As Hakan takes a short to Lautaro, put the cross in, and Rui Patricio comes out to catch. Let's get an attack going. Can Pellegrini do something here? We will win a corner. 
five minutes from half time. Our first sniff of goal. <laughs> it's been difficult for us. Corner whipped in there. And the ref points to the spot again. This time in our favor. What's going on? Bro, who is this ref? This guy's just trigger happy giving pens that aren't even pens. Like, who employed this guy? That's definitely not a penalty. Anyway, we're almost at half time. I mean, nil nil against Inter away at half time. It, it's decent. It's decent. They have been better than us and they have penned us back quite a lot. We have not had any meaningful chance so far, but I have to say that's down to their defenders, bro. Their defense is immense and especially Skriniar. It's almost as if he's man-marking Dybala. Dybala has not been anywhere near his best. So yeah, this is very difficult. I can't even blame like my players in attack. We're just up against a very good team, bro. But as long as we stay in the game and there is Lukaku again. Patricio read it perfectly. As long as we stay in the game, we always have a chance, bro. You saw this ref is trigger happy, so who knows? We may get another pen or something. We may get a set piece. Oh, that's a hell of a ball there from Pellegrini. Pellegrini to Spinazzola. Spinazzola, and we may actually score! That's a good shot. Good play. First chance. First chance from the boys. In the second half. You come Inter. Inter facing Bayern next. Well, Champions League dons. We can only dream of that for now. There's Lukaku. The block there from Matic. Still penned back quite a lot here. Inter getting a lot of bodies forward. Patricio makes that save. And Vigna will win this ball. And is composed on it. To find Pellegrini. Pellegrini to Matic. Matic goes wide to Ibanez. Ibanez looks for a switch himself. Not quite having enough on it. They come into again. Oh, he just beat Vigna there. And Smalling has to cover. Oh, it's cut back to Lautaro Martinez. And Martinez gives the lead to Internazionale. Oh, mate. The constant pressure. We eventually broke. Vigna got beat. And when he got beat, everybody had to shift up. And Lautaro Martinez got the space to take the shot there. We couldn't fully commit to close that down. I guess we could have, but Lukaku was there. Caught in between two minds and into eventually take the lead that they deserve. And now we're going to have to make a change. Belotti, we're just going to bring on Abraham here to see what he can do. He asked to play. Here's your chance, mate. Yeah, here is your chance. Belotti, like I said, I'm not going to really be blaming our attackers. Because they have not really had anything to work on. We'll also bring on Mancini, hoping he can deal better with that physical threat of Lukaku. Here's Wijnaldum. That's a decent ball. We still have a threat, though. It's still only 1-0. And here's Lorenzo Pellegrini, looking to beat his man. Does. Looking to beat a second. Cannot. Cannot. Here's Inter. Coming in with Lautaro, the goal scorer. Going along there is that Dumfries. We win it back. Mancini. The smalling, smalling. It's dangerous. That's dangerous, Patricio. Oh my days, Rui Patricio, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? This is not necessary. We don't need to be helping them. We're already under enough pressure. That's a good block and another good block. And eventually, we claim the ball. Final 13 minutes now. Yeah, yeah, we need to go for this game, bro. We need to go for this game. We're going for Zalewski out wide. We're bringing Kamara in just to bring more energy in the midfield. And we're going to put Zaniolo at left wing back. We're going for the game. They have a throw here and they take it quickly. And look out. Oh, that lasted. That lasted a whole 10 seconds. Mate, wow. Okay, 2-0. <laughs> I literally just made the changes, lads. 
from a throw. Oh, the turn from Martinez. I can't even hate it. Lukaku finishes at the near post. Could Patricio do better there? I don't know. It's 2 0. Final five minutes. We may still do something here. Here's Zalewski. 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 Keeps going. Keeps going. Skriniar. Again. Oh, game, bro. He just seems to be there. And by the way, has anybody seen Paulo Dybala in the second half? I haven't. Yeah. Missing person's report. Has to be fouled in, bro. We're getting worried. 89th minute. I mean, to be fair, I can't, I can't be hating on Dybala, bro. He's been our best player this season, but yeah, he has not been anywhere today, bro. We're busy. Oh my days, look at this. Look at our defenders. Deal with this, deal with this. We are going to lose at San Siro. Look at Dybala again, bro. Yeah, the game plan worked. You stop Dybala, you stop us in transition. He is the only one who picks up the ball in the half space, says. Okay, that's a weird time to end the game. Maybe he was offside, I'm not sure, but it's 2 0, it's whatever. Oh, wow. That's a wake up call. That's a reality check, boys. To show we're not ready. I'm sorry. If that's the caliber you have to be at to win Serie A, yeah, we're not ready, bro. We are not ready. Beaten at last, how do you feel? We had a bit of a good run. It's only a second defeat, so again, let's keep our heads. But we had a bit of a good run, and bro, we were just beaten by the better team today. It's been great for belief. We must not lose our heads. Um, but like I said, that's a bit of a shock to the system, bro. To just for us to reassess and not get carried away and realize where exactly we are. It's kind of a know your place kind of result thing. And away at Inter is not really our place. So fair enough, Inter won. They deserve the victory. They are very, very physical, bro. Very physical, very strong. And their game plan worked. Nicolo Zaniolo not happy with uh, the amount of game time he's been getting. And I actually feel sorry for him, bro. You're still in the squad though, bro. You're still in the plans. Still developing you to be our central midfielder and you're not quite there yet. But just bear with me. We will get there. Our youth scout, yeah, Jacopo. Is it Jacopo? Yeah. Parisis is finally back with, uh, from Italy because he was scouting there. And we're going to send him out to Germany to look for physically strong players. Sending him out to Germany because, of course, Marcel is German. So we're like, hey, use our connections out there in Germany and bring a few German tons. We have completed this youth objective so that's one objective completed meaning we can give out one contract i don't know, let me know who you think deserves a contract for now this is the current shortlist for player of the month we are going into november i believe so yeah this is for october i don't know if, i feel like it's like debal has been hard done by he probably should have been there but he's not it's fine it's fine we're currently keeping the youth squad a bit of a secret right now we're developing a few players and they're looking good they're looking good but i will show them to you when they're ready to step up of course the media have caught the story of zaniolo not being happy and they're running away with it trying to cause problems of course we just suffered our first defeat now they just want to pile the pressure on us it's fine bro it's fine we don't have a problem with zaniolo you know i'm hoping he doesn't have a problem with us he has a problem with not playing he'll definitely play in this game though because we're back in the europa league but yeah, let's see. This is the line we're going to be going with. Zvila gets his first chance in goal. We have Kumbula coming in. Completely rotated 11, bro. Abraham starts. Zaniolo, of course, starts. So here's his chance. Zalewski at left wing back. Karsdorp right wing back. Kamara comes in. So really only Cristante and Smalling keeping their places. And we have a few youngsters on the bench. We are basically through, bro. We're basically through in the Europa League. So... We just don't want to lose. We're at home, so let's not let it get embarrassing. It is Helsinki. And I'm confident that with the team we put out, we can still get a positive result. Here's Zaniolo. Zaniolo to Cristante. Cristante, again, very worrying because you can see we don't have players to rotate with him. We really don't. He has to play every game. We'll look not to... Oh, man, we're going to make substitutions. I was going to say we're going to look not to play him the full game in this game, but... Unless whoever is in charge of this game makes a sub and takes him off, I guess he's going to play the full game. 
unfortunately, we're already into the second half. Here's an attack for us. We haven't been good, bro. Crossing opportunity for Roma. 50th minute. Is that Zalewski? Down the left flank. He has it there with him. Looks for a cross. Not a good one. We may... No, we don't... We do not. We don't have the ball. Free kick to Roma. 62nd minute. No chances for Helsinki so far. So, to be fair, a game I was expecting. We don't have our first team out there, so maybe the quality to get the goals is not necessarily there. But we're still good enough not to concede against them. Here's the ball again. Here's a chance for us to score, though. I really would like us to score, bro. And win this game, obviously. Come on, Tammy. Where are you, bro? We oh, we have a pen. We have a penalty. And there's Abraham. He's on penalties. Dybala is not playing today. So Tammy Abraham has a chance to put us in the lead here. And Tammy Abraham's penalty is saved. <laughs> oh, it's not happening for him. 75th minute. He has a chance for you to make up for it, bro. And you're through on goal. One on one with the goalkeeper. And he puts it in and he takes his chance. Tammy, you missed the pen, but it's fine. He already makes up for it. And gets the goal, bro. <laughs> We're heading towards the end of the game. Not one chance. Not one attacking situation for Helsinki. I can imagine this has been a pretty boring game for the fans to watch, bro. Not much action in it at all. Not many goals in it at all. Here is Abraham looking to find our second. Cannot. That's full time. Just got the job done. Completely rotated 11. And we get another win. And I think that's now four in... Four, I want to say. I think we've played four. I think it's four and four now. In there, and these are the substitutions that were made. Volpato came on for El Sharawi. So I think that's his debut. First time we're playing him, youngster from the academy. Um, yeah, a few subs made there. Cristante got booked. It's fine. It's fine. And we have some offers here for the players we listed yesterday uh, for them to go out. So we've accepted an offer. For Korich from Burnley, Trippi is currently negotiating a loan move and an uh, offer here for Bianda, which we will just accept. Not going to be fussed about the amount we're getting because, bro, they're not even playing either way. And yeah, that is the table there. Four wins in four and we're basically through. Going to go back in Serie A here. We have Atalanta coming up and we are still in fifth. We lost, but we have not moved. Atalanta are in third. Five points above us. We're at home. Tough game ahead. Tough game ahead. Credit I'll give to the boys is whenever we get a negative result, we immediately bounce back and we get a decent 3-4 game run after that. So, can we do the same today? Let's see. Paulo Dybala, bro, you need it today. You need it today. Back with the first team 11 or the first choice 11. And here is the Atalanta team. Another team that play a back three. They're playing at 3 4 1 2. Will be interesting to see how we deal against them. And again, two mobile attackers there in Muriel and Zapata. Zapata, basically another Lukaku we're facing, bro. So let's try to learn from the mistakes we had against Inter and deal with him a bit better. We're at home. We're currently undefeated at home. I think we've only drawn once at home and we've won every other game. I think so. But we're definitely undefeated at home. So the Olympico has become a bit of a... I don't want to say fortress because we're not that far into the season. Save by Patricio. But our form at home has been good. Here's one Alden. Has one man to beat. Finds Leonardo Spinazzola with grass ahead of him. Space ahead of him. And oh, maybe oh, the angle was tight, bro. He was not scoring from that, but the cutback was not good. At the corner for Atalanta, we clear it. Oh, Dybala beaten in the air there, and they still have it another in the box, and they just lay it over towards Duvan Zapata. How is he onside? How, he, how is he onside or in that much space? Oh, we go a goal down at home. Oh, you can see it right there, bro. You can see it right there. He's been played on side. Is that Wijnaldum? This has been disastrous from us. 
Pellegrini. Dybala. Dybala, bro. We need you. Where are you? Oh. Belotti loses it. Yeah. The link-up play is not working. And yes, Muriel is in. Oh, what a block. Roger Ibanez. Putting his body on the line there. Not even leaving it to the keeper. Oh, what a block, bro. A man like Roger. That's big. That's massive. That's massive. Lats, we don't need this large dish defending, bro. We really need to get into the game. Cleared again by Ibanez. And we have a foul. We have a foul. Take the foul. Just breathe, lads. Just a little bit. Just breathe. First 25 minutes have been terrible. Under pressure. We have not been able to link up play between the defenders and the forwards. We really haven't. Here's Spinazzola. Finds Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum back to Leonardo Spinazzola, who looks like he's been our best player today. Leonardo Spinazzola in a good position. Boom, big chance. Big chance missed. Big chance missed. Win the header. Win the second ball. There we are. It's been a solo again. Looking lively. Good ball there to Dybala. And the shot is blocked. What's this? Is the pen? I don't know if it's a foul. <laughs> Bro, we're desperate for pens. Come on, Leonardo. It's all. Keep it in. Spin now. There we are. Keeps it in. Look for a cross. Oh, he ran it out. Ran a bit too quick for his own good there, Spinazzola. Oh, but Belotti intercepts this and it's a chance! And we capitalize on the mistake from the goalkeeper there, Atalanta. What are they doing? Belotti alive, bro. Belotti, you have been nowhere today. But the chance falls to Andrea Belotti and he is the sharpest man in the Olympico. <sighs> we needed that. Pellegrini, Savinia. We have been better towards the end of the first half here. Oh, it will fall back to Spina. Not getting enough power. Not getting the right connection on the ball either. Two minutes from half time, and we are piling the pressure. Come on, Paulo, put a good ball in there. Yeah. One of the final few chances of the half. Let's make them think about something. Ball in there, looking to win the header. We will not win the second ball. Wijnaldum. Dybala. Let's for the shot. It's blocked. And the turn is Zapata. Zapata to Joachim Maile and we win it back here as one of them. Ibanez, good pressure, good pressure, good pressure. Keep it up, keep it up. Here's Pellegrini. The through ball. Not on. Let's win this. Oh, there we are. Bro, Roger Ibanez is that guy, bro. You don't want it with him. It's going to be half time. It's going to be 1 1. Just clear this. Smalling wins that header. We won't have time to counter attack. And that is it. Terrible start to that half. Brilliant end to that half. Slightly fortunate for the goal. Let's keep up the pressure that we had put them under. Let's just deal with this free kick first because it's very dangerous. 57th minute in, and he skips it over on the wall. Jumps and it takes it from there. And it is wide. I noticed that they have Malinovsky on the bench. Malinovsky, of course, a player. In our shortlist, and I mean, bro, if they're not playing him, yeah, we may have to do something there because he's also a massive threat from set pieces. Headed out there, Dybala looks like he's picked up a bit of a knock. He's carrying on for now, blocked by Vigna, and we'll make a change into the 62nd minutes. This second half has started pretty much the same way the first half started with us under pressure. Dybala's gonna come off. He is both injured and not having a good game. We're gonna bring on Karthop for Vigna and move Spina back to his more natural left wing back position. And here he is, Leonardo Spina Sola loses the ball. Who are you passing to, bro? There's nobody there. Come on, deal with this. Come on, deal with this. Come on, Roger. Oh, there we are. Oh, no. Lucky for them. And here's Muriel. Find some space. Oh, the footwork there, bro. Did our defenders. Cast off. Oh, big cast off. Cast off. This guy, yeah. He's lost the ball a couple of times this season in dangerous areas. I can't really trust him, but he did well there. The ball is... A, that's a brilliant ball! Spina is in! Bro, I was like, who was that too? I should just shut up. What a pass that was. Bloody hell. Oh, but Spina, bro. You really should have a goal by now. It's Pellegrini. To Spinazzola again. Yeah, Spinazzola this time just tosses it in there towards Belotti. And Belotti is in a very good position. Takes it on his left foot. And we take the lead from a goal down. 
We need Andrea Bellotti linking up with Leonardo Spinazzola, who's been unplayable today, bro. He has been unplayable today. Finding the ball there. Dybala has come off, but we can still score goals. That's a massive sign for me, bro, that we're not a one-man team because I can't lie, for most of the season, I thought we were. We're bringing on Mancini for Matic. Again, we're solidifying that back line. It's all about seeing the game out. We're into the final eight minutes or so. Lorenzo Pellegrini looking for the run there of Belotti. I mean, Abraham is on the bench, bro. There's no way we're taking off Belotti. Belotti has been on fire today. We're currently pressing here, but we have to be smart with our press as well. Because we really don't need to, so we have to be smart. Oh, that's good positioning there from Pellegrini to win that ball back. On the turn here is Andrea Velotti. Ooh, we still have it though. Pellegrini. Oh, Pellegrini lost it there. Final four minutes. Oh, the intensity, the intensity. I'm loving this. It's Pellegrini again, in the box again. Looks for... Cut back! And that's when Eldum. And we win it back. And the ref gives another penalty. How many penalties? We have a pen. As much as we would have liked it, unfortunately, that came off Martin Darun's chest, so it will not be a penalty. We are into stoppage time, though we will not need that penalty, of course. That would have definitely secured the three points. But as of now, we just have to hang on, and we are almost there, headed out there by Cristante. Velotti, it doesn't matter. And we win against Atalanta in an incredibly difficult game. Bro, I cannot stress how difficult that was. We had to have some luck with the first goal, them making a mistake. But listen, you make your own luck. Yeah, if Belotti was not sharp enough to read the pass and get the goal, we don't win this game. Belotti, fair play, mate, scores a brace and gets us the win. Uh, Lautaro Martinez winning player of the month there. I mean, they're top of the league, bro. Kind of expected it, to be fair. We're into the international break here. So we're going to be setting ourselves to only training. We've seen that we have quite a lot to improve on. The boys are not going to be happy with this, bro, because it's going to be intense. But listen, lads, we have a lot to work on. Yeah, we have a lot to work on if we want to be competing with those top sides. Our, coming, our fixtures coming up, though, are... Not as intense, they're not as difficult, but we have to be fully prepared. Bianda has been sold and so has Korich, and we have another offer here. Well, two offers actually. One being alone, Maddie Kamara. Thanks for showing faith in me. He's very unhappy, but he's thankful for the faith. Yes, bro. That's the spirit, yeah? You know that this is good for you. The training is difficult, but you know it's good for you. So fair play. Dabo offer here from Sheffield United. We'll just accept that, bro. It's fine. He's not going to play. And Volpato will not be looking to lose him with an option to buy, so we'll just send him out on loan and see what he can do there. These are the offers that we've had or the transfers that we have made in and out so far. And this is how the table is looking. We're currently in fourth now, so we have gone up to fourth. Still level on points with Napoli though. And we have closed down the gap to Atalanta to only two points. Inter are still top. And this is how the rest of the table is looking. Milan are still down in 10th, bro. Yeah, Pioli is definitely going to get sacked at this rate, bro. How, how is this a title defense? This is embarrassing, mate. Bloody hell. Anyway, looking at the table and what is coming, or the calendar, and looking what is coming up. We have Lecce coming up. We're going away to Real Betis, who will be looking to get some revenge after we slapped them 6-0. And then we'll also be having Empoli and Spezia to round off tomorrow's episode. We will be having four games like we said, man, the schedule is getting a bit better. You know, we're not facing any of the big boys. We've faced most of them, let's be fair. We've faced a lot of them in succession. Not too bad. A win against Atalanta. A win against Milan. A loss against Inter is understandable, you know, away. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on today's episode and who exactly we're signing for that tagging midfield. I'll be looking to make that signing maybe in the next episode if possible so yeah let's get to our decision today drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it and please consider subscribing i would greatly appreciate that i've been quickly crushing i'll see you guys next time